Thank you. Thanks Not a lot. Uh, I have been given the topic of why metformin is still chosen as a first line agent, and it is ruling the robust management of diabetes still after the availability of so many gadgets uh, agents. So, can you see my slides? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, Doctor Ashish. Yeah. So, to begin with, uh, is it still the metformin the first line drug? That is the main question, and I will be delivering it in the few. Uh, five to ten minutes in the war against hyperglycemia, metformin front line the troops. And I thanks a lot to uh, Rajiv sir and Shalini to invite me to this important conference to deliver this talk to introduce uh, the metformin is a bigonide drug that is used as a first line agent in type two diabetes and it is effective as monotherapy and it combines with every one like water combines with any of the liquids. So it is affordable and well tolerated and can be safely used with all the available agents in the armamentarium of diabetes. So let us understand how metformin came to first in the choice of treatment of type 2 diabetes. It is a guanidine-based remedy derived from the Galiga of Inchialis and it is used medicinally since centuries. And uh, in 2011, WHO has added metformin to its list of essential medications and it has been used since many years. And in 21-22, the lactic acidosis, uh, the fear was also removed and the Recent results have shown metformin as safe and effective medication for vast majority of patients. So the action we all know that it acts by inhibiting hepatic gluconeogenesis, reducing absorption of glucose from intestine and increasing glucose uptake by tissues by AMPK pine pathway. The other important uh, actions have been also shown that it increases the GLP-1 secretion and that glucose lowering action takes place in the GI tract also rather than only in the circulation. So it has having more pleiotropic effects also. So metformin is still the first line position was strengthened by UKPDS study and it's the observation that metformin treatment group has shows reduction of 32% for any diabetes related endpoint, 42% for diabetes related death and 36% for all cause mortality controlled in the West when compared to the controlled group. So metformin has been shown to be effective in normal weight patients and in obese patients both. So why it is important drug in the management of diabetes? Apart from glucocentric approach, we require the uh, cardiovascular renal approach also nowadays. So the message is clear that the management of diabetes requires aggressive treatment to achieve glycemic and cardiovascular respector goals. So in this setting, the metformin, an old and widely available drug as a first line agent, stands out not only for its anti-hyperglycemic properties, but because of its improvement in endothelial dysfunction, homeostasis, oxidative stress, insulin uh, resistance, lipid profile, and fat redistribution is helpful to reduce the cardiovascular risk factors. It has anti -pro uh, proven now the anti-proliferative role of cancer. Many studies are going on and a neuroprotective effect in the Alzheimer's has also been studied. So it has a negligible risk of hypoglycemia as a monotherapy and few drug interaction of clinical relevance have proven it as a first line agent. It has shown to reduce microvascular outcomes also and neurodegenerative uh, processes reduced and it is used in Alzheimer's disease also. Recommended by guideline as first line therapy by ADA, ESD, ACE and IDF, Canadian Diabetes Association, ACP. Everyone is favoring this drug and why? Because the UKPDS and the 10 year follow up study have shown the legacy effect also, the metabolic memory and it has shown reduction in MI and all cause mortality in metformin group. The beneficial effects were seen with the early intervention and reduction sustained throughout the 10 year follow up and greater reduction were achieved those with added to sulfonylurea and insulin and metformin should be initiated at time of diagnosis as we have seen the benefits. So metformin is extended care in diabetes continuum as a first choice right from the pre-diabetes, newly diagnosed patient, established diabetes type 2 diabetes with cardiorenal comorbidities, even in the elderly type 2 diabetic patient. So the various trials, PRESTO trial, HOME trial, all have shown the positive benefits to reduce the all-cause mortality and cardiovascular mortality. The ADA has also shown that the, it, it still recommends metformin as a first-line therapy. Only the patients who are having high risk of ASCVD or chronic kidney disease, they are to be considered GLP-1 receptor or SGLT2 as a first line agent to uh, target the individualization of HbA1c. So I have told you it can be started from pre-diabetes by ADA, ICMR guideline, 
both now recommend to start metformin at a low dose along with lifestyle modification in patients who are having pre diabetes for primary prevention the metformin the first oral treatment to be approved in india for use in pre diabetes has been proven and the dclep and idpp studies have shown that metformin significantly reduced the incidence of diabetes as per principal diabetes prevention trials by 32% and 28% so metformin in a newly diagnosed patient have shown significant reduction of hba1c in the range of 1 to 1.5% and equivalent glycemic reduction or actual advantage to metformin was seen when compared head to head with other drugs so it is very efficacious safe and diabetes medication as monotherapy we are using it since long and annals of medicine uh, data have been proven the effect of metformin on a1c is mostly similar or higher when compared to the other group of drugs so dose uh, intensification without side effects as you increase the dose you will get more benefits or results but we have to start low go slow to prevent the complications of gi tract so antihyperglycemic efficacy of metformin increases with increasing daily dose you can see the fasting was reduced when we have uh, improved that increase the dose from 500 to 2000 mg and even the a1c reduction was better with 2000 mg so similar uh, up titration is need of the hour to achieve adequate control with metformin and there was a significant greater reduction in a1c when higher dosages was used in ckd you can use easily but stop the drug when the a1 uh, egfr is less than 30 ml so you have to be cautious when the patient is having egfr less than 30 between 30 to 60 you have to use between 1200 mg and above 60 to 90 uh, sorry 30 to 60 you have to use 500 mg and 60 to 90 1200 to 50 mg can be used and above 90 egfr you can use full dose so the updated guidelines now allow therapy those with a stable mild to moderate ckd thereby expanding its use potentially more than other individuals so cardiovascular benefits have been proven by ukpts and many other studies metformin treatment is associated with improved outcome in patients even with diabetes and advanced heart failure so it is now not the contraindication have been removed by us fda in the heart failure patients and it have shown positive benefits the metformin treatment was independently associated with both better outcome and quality of life in patients with advanced heart failure and diabetes in elderly population it is again the first line agent for old population can be safely used in egfr more than 30 and it has showing the anti aging effect and neurodegenerative diseases have counteracting benefits so recent publication of metformin in longevity mild trial provided the first direct evidence that metformin exerts tissue specific effects on the expression of metabolic and non metabolic human genes implicated in aging so it is anti aging neurodegenerative disorders have been reduced so it slowed the age related comorbidities development in old men with type 2 diabetes in this study done by sheng ping wang so metformin in elderly is safe preferred agent at the low dosages and you have to be just cautious of lactic acid doses may deprive a substantial number of individuals so you have to choose the patient uh, vigilantly and even in the pre diabetic stage you can use in the low dosages it has been used now uh, studied in hiv gestational diabetes cancer and neuroprotection along with pre diabetes obesity and metabolic abnormalities a recent review concluded that chf could not be considered as a absolute contraindication for metformin use because of its protective effect due to amp activation and decreasing the cardiac fibrosis so now us fda has removed the heart failure contraindication from the packaging so in the nutshell it is a highly efficacious drug with no hypoglycemia weight change is neutral or may reduce 2 to 4 kg as we have seen in clinical practice cv effects as cvd potential benefits heart failure is neutral cost is low route ad of administration is oral progression of dkd is neutral dosing consideration sh that should be done and below 30 egfr it should be stopped gi side effects can be taken care by starting low go slow and up titrate slowly and potential for b12 deficiency can be prevented by supplementation of vitamins so by this uh, important features of metformin it is still the first line agent and the efficacy safety profile beneficial cardiovascular and metabolic effects and its capacity to be associated with other anti diabetic agent ye ghul mulke sabke sath chal jata hai 
it is easy to use with any drug making this drug the first glucose lowering agent of choice when treating the patients with type 2 diabetes so to summarize based on the medical community extensive experience and drugs demonstrated efficacy safety low cost and cardiovascular benefit metformin should remain the foundation therapy for all patients with type 2 diabetes barring contraindications in some patients metformin was approved by fda in 1994 and it has quickly risen to front line therapy for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and it has been associated with improvement in glycemic control weight neutrality very important in india that is low cost as well as very important in the diabetic population low risk of hypoglycemia metformin still rules the roost so old is gold the multifaceted multi targeted metformin is proven the gold therapy in diabetes by reduction of fatty glucose output increasing fatty acid oxidation increase in glucose extra- extraction improvement in peripheral sensitivity decrease in gut carbohydrate absorption and enhanced release of glp1 and other gut peptides are important features which are seen in the with the use of metformin so multi targeting old is gold therapy cannot be replaced is it is still the first line therapy in the armamentarium of diabetes management thank you thanks a lot for patient hearing